it's time. You can see that they've been here and they put the new poles in. Here's the old pole. And today they're gonna transfer the service over to the new pole. That is my line right there. And they're gonna transfer that, I believe, to the new pole. Also, just for being a, a nice guy and poking around, I said, hey, can you run me a new line to the house? So here it is. Obviously, it's not hooked up yet. And it's down on the lawn over there. So today's the day I get the new service. So I believe he said just the neutral has been taken off now. Got another guy on the house. Doing the new service. There's the line free. That's it. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely. I think this is two watt cable or something, or one watt, I forget what the terminology is, but you can definitely tell that this cable is thicker. And this service was done probably no more than 15 years ago. Maybe a little more. So he's working on hooking up the new shit, or taking the old shit off, actually. up there, I believe, with this silver-looking cable. So I think it's just kind of draped over the other wires or something temporarily until he gets everything hooked in. See the end of that is stripped. And that's where just in front of this gentleman you see the red wire and the black wire. That's where things are gonna get connected with what's called bug nuts. Like a huge wire nut looking thing.
while we're waiting, this was off the old pole. These are on the high tension lines that are here on this road. And these are the things you see up in the air. You can see, here's my hand. This is about the size of like a, a small dish. Maybe five inches, six inches, something like that. There's a cotter pin over here. Another one here. And you see how it turns. And this turns. And this turns. And this here is the actual high tension line. I don't know how big that is, but it's a pretty hefty cable. Notice that it's aluminum, not copper. Your house has to be copper, but they can use aluminum. And the reason the cable appears to be cut uh, here, you know, in other words, it's not connected, is there's always a jumper running from this end, going down, around, and hooking up at the other end there. So I don't know how that all works or why, but well, what the function of these things are. I guess just to ease the wires moving or, or something, but um, that's what they look like in real life. Again, I don't have anything else handy, but this is just my hand, and you can see how big it really is. Okay, so there is the new line connected with new bug nuts or whatever to the service that's there. This line is... I have a 200 amp service. I don't know if the old, old line could handle that or if they just did this on the, on the you know, without getting the right shit. I, I have no idea. But the new line is certainly thicker for whatever reason than the old line, which they have not run yet. That has to run out to the pole. But uh, hopefully that'll be better. A couple more amps for starting the ACs and things like that. So let's see what else happens here. That is a nice line. Before it gets connected, I get to touch it for the one time ever. And that's it, up she goes. He's not paying attention, what's going on? Oh, there you go, thank you very much. That is one hell of a cable to be. Damn. Maybe I can keep the old one for what it's worth. It'll be some nice steel cable. So it's been hooked up to the house, and now this guy is actually hooking it back up live. He's getting everything ready in that. Uh, I guess eventually this will be moved to the new pole, because they haven't done that yet. So they're just doing the service for me, just because I asked. It's one odd cable is what they put on the house now compared to number four, four gauge. So we went from four gauge to one on. That ought to be a nice fucking upgrade. Nice upgrade. So he's pulling everything tight, getting everything hooked up, and come back a little later. Now he's got a chainsaw. I guess he's gonna cut down more of the pole there. Well, allegedly, what's going on is my line is just tied into that lowest one right above the old pole. And these three lines here may actually be going away, and they're gonna potentially chop the pole right above the cable and foam wires. So that's allegedly what might be going on from what I understand. Everything from here to the house is aluminum. And 
once it hits the wiring on the house, it has to go copper by code. Interesting how they can use aluminum, but I can't. Not that I would want to. But that looks connected now. Perhaps. Ah, it's just a waiting game now. It's coming down a bit. Oh, let's see what might happen here. Flipping that off. So I guess that wire is hanging there now. Come down. Take it out the back window. <laughs> oh shit, one more to go. silicone-looking thing. Put this in the pile with the other ones. And you can see how thin the cable is on it. But uh, you got these lines down without hitting the car. Got into a little tip with the other guy about uh, it almost hit the car and whatever. So he's taking them down and rolling these up and that's that. And I don't know if he works his way to that pole and on from from there, but anyway, like it goes, screw you, Jack, I got mine. That's all I care. <laughs> so I got my new power, and they're gonna do whatever they're gonna do, and that's that. Some big bolt-on connectors and guide wires, guy wires, crazy other shit. This cable, I don't know what gauge it is, but whatever he's rolling up from the pole down is going to give me. Uh, the other stuff he actually keeps, he said. Love to Boat 92. This is about as close as we get to milling lumber here. Oopsies. <laughs> All right, well, the chain fell off the chainsaw, so that's not happening today. Don't know when it will. But anyway, here's the new hookup. I have not gotten power back just yet, but we will soon, once they re-energize the rest of the block. Um, that's gonna be about it for now. So thanks for watching. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time, bye-bye.